Hello everyone, just want to show you guys a quick demonstration of my Melee Arduino controller. The first thing to show you is that this is running off of an Uno. It could also run off of a Nano, which I will show in a later video. I am connected to a GameCube to PlayStation 2 adapter. This allows me to use my PlayStation 2 controller, which I like just a little bit more than the GameCube controller. Here is the Mayflash uh, default little case that it comes in. I just have it outside of it right now so I can prototype and connect the wires. So the first thing I want to show you guys, uh, aside from my messy table, sorry I'm rebuilding an engine right now, is the uh, perfect dash back. So sometimes Melee can pull your controller inputs in between when you're trying to smash left and right on the uh, analog stick, resulting in a slow turnaround like that. So with the uh, macros enabled, which can be done by just pressing left on the D-pad, you will now have perfect dash back. As long as you are pretty much smashing the stick pretty quickly, not like dawdling, but you know, just trying to dash dance normally, there's a three frame buffer and it'll always give you a solid dash back. This is good for fox trotting, dash dancing, and pretty much everything else you'll need for quick movement options. It also ensures that you'll get a hundred percent of the cardinal direction so you're not getting like a fast walk or a fast run or just a slight dash. You'll always get a nice perfect dash back. The other thing is this is my X button and this is the Y button or you know the equivalent on GameCube. Uh, short hop dedicated button so no matter how quick or how slow I press this button I will always get a short hop out of X. That uh, helps with consistency and making sure I can do, you know, near approaches and whatever else you might want to do with short hop. Uh, the Y button is then conversely bound to a full hop button. So no matter what you do, whether you hold it long or you quickly tap it, you will always get a full hop. That just ensures there's good consistency and your brain can kind of learn to press X for short hop, Y for full hop. Um, that's customizable. You could completely change that to whatever buttons you want or disable them. Uh, the other thing is a light shield dedicated button. So this is my L and that's my R. These two are act as a single Z button. Uh, you can't remap, that's just how the adapter is. So with R, I get a normal shield. I can do a light shield, but it's kind of hard to do on a PlayStation 2 because it's not as far as the GameCube sliders and triggers. So I can get a full dedicated uh, sh uh, shield button here and do a light shield with L. So I will always get a light shield. The reason why that's important is because if you are teching and somebody hits you when you're trying to L cancel, you are locked out for 40 frames before you can uh, before you can uh, tech. So if you are trying to short hop approach with an air and somebody say like Falco, uh, you know, hits you with a uh, board smash, you are now tumbling through the air. And if you try to tech with a hard press, you've already used your hard press and now you're just going to get screwed. Um, by having a light shield dedicated button, you will never accidentally hard press the shield button and you can always uh, still tech. The other thing is uh, jump canceling. So jump canceling is really big in Melee. Jump cancel up smash is enabled automatically anytime you're dashing or running with the analog stick. And then you just press up on the C stick. So it's really handy. Uh, the other thing too is jump cancel grabs. If you're standing still, you'll get the normal grab. Same thing if you're dashing or running and you press the grab button, you'll get a nice jump cancel grab. Really handy. This also still allows you to do boost grabs, which I'm pretty bad at. And then lastly, there is, um, you already saw you can enable the profile with left. If you want to disable the profile completely, press down. Um, of course, 20XX's little menu is going to show up. That's just because 20XX, that's not something that Arduino is doing. Um, so I'll just press down again to hide that, but you only need to press it once and now everything's disabled. So I can full hop with X, 
uh, short hop with Y if I'm fast enough. Uh, can't up smash while running. Uh, don't get a jump cancel grab, you know, etc. Um, I also have another profile set up on the right D-pad, and all that one does is a uh, back dash, short hop button, full hop button, and that's it. So L is back to normal, R is back to normal. No jump cancel grab, no jump cancel up smash. And so these are configurable. You can set up whatever you want, take out what you want, put in what you want. Um, set these up however. Um, one last thing is if you have the L cancel or the light shield on L, you cannot LRA start anymore. So to get around that, I found D-pad up to LRA start. And that's it. So that's the whole Melee Arduino setup. And uh, once again, I'll show you guys a video on how to uh, wire all this in an upcoming video. Um, do it legitimately with a logic level converter and not fry your uh, Wii or GameCube or whatever you hook it up to.